Hey, if you're watching this, you are trying to build a rule of life and you're up to um, the fourth of Justin Early's recommended uh, rules, which is scripture before phone. Love this. Um, totally want to support you, encourage you to use our tools and to make this one of your tools. It has been one of my tools for the last close to 45 years. Scripture first thing in the morning, which I totally love. If I don't have scripture first thing in the morning, I think I miss my multivitamin. I mean, it's more than that. I mean, it's a spiritual multivitamin. Um, I said in the in the message where we talked about this uh, in the sermon series, Under the Influence, I said three big things about this. It, it reminds me of my chosen identity, um, and I get a new story, right? The Message Bible um, in James 1, about verse 22, says, uh, <clears throat> Don't let the word go in one ear and out the other. Act on it. Those who don't act on the word uh, are like the person that will glance in a mirror two minutes later, forget who they are. I mean, really, we, when we don't, when we, when we hear God's word, but don't try to absorb it, try to live it out, try to really genuinely take it in so we can live it out, we, we uh, end up forgetting about our true identity. God has called us as his children. And when I take in the word, my stories about myself change. My stories change. The second thing I said was that uh, our identity changes. Not just uh, my chosen identity, but our chosen identity. Uh, it's so powerful. Scripture is so powerful to remind us that my identity is not um, separated from the identity of the rest of the church, the rest of the body of Christ, other disciples. In 1 Peter uh, chapter 2, verse 9, he says, But you are God's chosen people, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may, here's our purpose, declare the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Scripture reminds me not just of my chosen identity, but our chosen identity. I not only have a new story about myself, I have new relationships that reinforce God's stories about ourselves. That's massive. The third thing was is that it reinforces um, healthy practices. It just reinforces my other spiritual disciplines. I love Colossians. Colossians chapter three is it's one of the one of the chapters I have memorized. It says, uh, "Rid yourselves of all such things as these." This is the resist part. Get rid of these things. Rid yourselves of all such things as these anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices and put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. He's like, I'm putting on this new sense of who I am. Then in verse 12, he says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, Humility, gentleness, patience. Hear those as practices. These are new practices. So as I go to God's word, I not only have a new story about myself, I not only have new relationships that reinforce redemptive stories, I also have a new community of friends and people that reinforce this truth of who we really are. Scripture before phone helps set my practices for that day that remind me not about what I'm going to do that day, but who, I, who will I be in this day? I hope you'll make it one of your practices. I'll see you soon.